her to of service. Mary's attitude of service appears, above all, in the wedding at Cana. Mary, the contemplative, is the first one to discover the problem of the young, of the young couple, and she involves herself in her service. They have no more wine. Do whatever she tells you. These words of Our Lady, born from her deep faith in her son, and from a delicate love for the young couple, express a realism of contemplation. It is always like that. When contemplation is real, it creates in us a great aptitude for service. Only contemplatives have this special capacity to immediately discover the problem of others, the inexhaustible capacity for giving. Mary's service, through the mysterious detachment of her whole life, goes up to the generous gift of her son for the evangelization of men and women as an offering of reconciliation to the Father. Let us pray. God of love, you made a humble woman of our race to be the mother of your son. Through Mary's intercession, grant us to recognize the, recognize the Christ in each of our brothers and sisters and to live serving one another until that day when together we shall sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. Mary, Queen assumed into heaven, I rejoice that after years of heroic martyrdom on earth, you have at last been taken into the throne prepared for you in heaven by the Holy Trinity. Lift my heart with you in the glory of your assumption above the dreadful touch of sin and impurity. Teach me how small earth becomes when viewed from heaven. Make me realize that death is a triumphant gate through which I shall pass to your Son and that someday my body shall rejoin my soul in the unending bliss of heaven. From this earth, over which I tread as a pilgrim, I look to you for help. I ask for this favor. When my hour of death has come, lead me safely to the presence of Jesus to enjoy the vision of my God for all eternity together with you.